So we are coming up with the logic to say that sometimes there is a modifications to the share based payment plan. What do you mean by a modification? A modification in the sense that the plan which was announced initially, there is a change in the plan. What changes can occur? The change can occur where there is an increase or decrease in fair value. What do you mean by increase or decrease in fair value? That means the number of people who are entitled to the plan have increased or decreased or the fair value of the options in the plan have increased or decreased. Exercise price changed. Automatically there is an increase or decrease in fair value. Sometimes there can be a modification which might lead to cancellation of the plan itself. That means the plan has been announced in such a way that the benefits under the plan are not eligible to receive anymore. The company is not in a position to pay the benefits. In such cases, automatically the plan gets cancelled. If the plan is cancelled, then the provision which I already recognized in the previous year should be reversed. But whenever there is an increase or decrease in the fair value of an option, such increase or decrease should be recognized in P&L should be recognized on P in the P&L on a prospective basis that is what do you mean by prospective basis subsequent provision that is subsequently recognize in p and l on straight line basis let us understand this what is the subsequent recognition in the p and l on a straight line basis let's come to this logic let's say for example benefits of share based payment plan are going like this where the number of options are let's say the number of options are about thousand okay and let's say fair value is Eighty. Okay. Vesting period is five years. Okay. Subsequently, somewhere in year three, let's say after two years, year three. there is a modification to the plan modification this modification has given rise to increase in fair value rupee 30 per option In such case, how do I recognize the uh, amount to be recognized each year? Now, forget about this modification. Without modification, you tell me first. Without any modification, 80 rupees is the value of the option, fair value of the option. Therefore, each year, how much should I recognize? 80 into 1000 divided by 5. Recognize in PNL. Each year, how much? 1000 options. 80 rupees is the fair value per option divided by 5 which is nothing but 16,000. 
this will not change even after modification then what will happen with the modification for the modification i will have to apply a prospective basis so what is your prospective basis meaning prospective basis means recognize in p and l from year 3 to year 5 only prospective this is what I meant by the word prospective. How much will I recognize? Calculate. 1000 options. Increase in fair value per option 30. Remaining vesting period 3 years. Therefore, the amount to be recognized in PL each year is 10,000. This 10,000 should be recognized only from year 3 to year 5. But for that 16,000, from year 1 to year 5, I'll recognize 16,000 only. So, year 1 and year 2, I'll recognize only 16. Year 3 to year 5, I'll recognize 16. Plus, additionally, I will recognize additional 10,000. So, from year 3 to year 5, 3, 4 and 5, instead of 16,000, I'll recognize 26,000 in the PN. Clear? This is the concept which emerges due to modification. Whenever there is an increase or decrease in fair value, it should be recognized in PNL on prospective basis. That means subsequently recognized in PNL on a straight line basis. So whatever has already been done pre-modification, that will not change. Clear?